Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. We are picking up where we left off. It is around about quarter past eight in the morning. We've got ourselves 24 hours to be as productive, productive as we can humanly possibly be. Need to come by and move that trail at some point. We're trying to just set up our logistics at the moment. We're a little bit out of sync on what I want to be doing, just because the GFC is so underpowered when it comes to being able to do some of these jobs and pulling through the slightest bit of muck. As you'll find, we will grind down to a halt. As soon as we've got a winch point, though, we're going to try and use it if we can. If we haven't got one. Come on, GMC. I don't want to have to bring the Fleet Star all the way back. That's what I'm trying to avoid, because I need the Fleet Star where it is. Well, not where it is, but I, you know, I don't want to just be driving it back and forth. Empty, all the point. That's what I don't want. We've got to pull ourselves now. Sometimes, I don't know if you pick that up, like I say, sometimes. It just seems easier to pull a heavy trailer not attached. It's weird. It's weird, but it works. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to be going back and trying to grab the uh, the maintenance trailer, the utility trailer, whatever it is, with the, the GMC. We'll grab that next time we come through with the fleet. grip with these highway tyres and now it's going to start raining. Thankfully we're almost at tarmac, almost at the asphalt. And then we're going to go and clear ourselves a bridge, or build ourselves a bridge and clear ourselves a rockfall. Hopefully. It is strange, now if that was attached to us, that trailer, although we're now going to grind to a halt just to something about to start speaking. If that was attached to us, we would struggle to pull up. Still in range here. Let's see if we can get closer. Buried ourselves a little bit. Let's borrow the strength of that tree. Start bringing our trailer with us again. Yeah, like I said last time out, I've seen other people move these trailers with the GMC and not have the trouble that I have. Just not that good. There we go. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need some fuel soon as well. Right, 
let's get moving now. We have the little break where the where you have to cross the ford, and then we're good. So it's up on that post. There's just no rush in this game. There's no rush in it. It goes at the pace that it goes. We are here, we are in town. We will probably drop this off. I don't want it over in the way, so I've got two more trailers I want to bring in as well. So I think I might actually leave the fuel here. That shouldn't be a problem. Now we will take some out. For our troubles, thank you most kindly. And then we have a flatbed that we want to go and pick up. You do have to be a little bit mindful of the road cones, they, uh, they can actually damage your tyre in the suspension, so just sort of approach them a little bit slow. More beautiful mud for us. This is dry dirt, so we should be okay. And then we want these, because these have much of the supplies that we're going to want for the next few jobs. trailer and then for convenience we're going to pull this out on the main road and we can just unload off it in the past I've just unpacked it there and come down and grabbed everything but once you've got, got a trailer and a, a sideboard on the back of your truck so constantly negotiate down there is a bit of pain in the bum and that means fuel we don't want to keep wasting the fuel So we'll park this up on Main Street. I'm sure they won't mind. All the work we're doing for them, they won't mind it. Try to just sit out here for us to un un unload on. Right, and again, we're going to detach that. Oh, actually, we want to unpack and then detach. There we go. Over here, we have another trailer. Watch your camera. The exhausts. The big exhausts in the way. take out the fence I think never mind.
Try not to destroy it. and unpacked as well so if we attach the trailer so there's plenty of room still we shall do it again unpack first then detach. So then for a little while at least, we should be finished, I think, with the GMC. So we'll just pop that up. If we need it, it's in town. So let's go and get the Fleet Star and do some jobs. And then I think our first job. Uh, what have we got here? Missing machinery. We're not worried about that one. The rock slide. That's going to require uh, two spare parts. And we should have spare parts on our trailer. Have a little look, see. Oh, does it not show in hard mode either? Okay. So metal beams and spare service parts. We're going to do that. Well, actually, I don't think now, would it be easier if we do wet harvest? That's going to pay us better. We can get the bricks, we can get the wood planks, and we can get the metal beams. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Ooh, naughty. Yeah, we get all these to the farm. We can get, pick up our metal beams, we can grab the wood planks. There's a trailer of wood planks at the, uh, the sawmill. We should be able to grab that now. And then we've got the bricks on the two trailers in town. Oh, if I'd have brought... See, this is where I'm not thinking, isn't it? I'm not thinking... If I'd have brought that flatbed, it's got four slots. I could have carried all, all six parts in one go. That's why I need to switch my brain on. I need to switch my brain on. We're going to bring that back next time. We need that trailer to save us our trips. I think it might be easier to get the wood, bring the wood into town, rather than loading ourselves up with the heavy metal beams, 
and then shot take the boot pick the boot out. I think that's gotta be an easier way to do it. We shall see. It might turn out that we'd be better off having the metal beams and using them to anchor weight us down to pull the trailer we want, but we shall see. And again, here in Alaska will be the only places where I have a lot of foresight in what I'm doing because I haven't ventured much further than that. Certainly not in a long time, and Alaska has been a while. It's only here in Michigan where we're going to have this benefit of me knowing what I want, when I want it. <laughs> yeah, I still get confused as to what order I want to do it. So when we get to the other places and we are scouting, I will need to hit every trailer so I know what we've got on each trailer, where it is. tools at our disposal and that is easy. Now I was watching someone on Twitch the other day, I forget who they were, uh, I was watching it because it said that it was their first time playing and Lord bless them, they came down here in, in the GMC straight after five <laughs> and then opened up the bridge, come down here and tried to pull that wood out of there and it took them so long. I felt bad. I didn't comment, I didn't say anything to them, I was just watching, silently watching. I wasn't gonna tell I weren't gonna tell them, but they weren't gonna be able to get it out and they weren't gonna mock them because it was their first time in trying. And I remember being that person, I remember thinking, oh we've got this truck, let's go get that wood. Let's get that wood. No. Leave it. Open up your maps. <laughs> open up your maps. Even if you're on normal difficulty. Go out and open up your maps first. As much as we want to be in the trucks and doing the deliveries and getting things done, you need to you need to have the tools at your disposal. I mean, you saw how hard it was just pulling that fuel trailer. Absolute nightmare. certain as to how this is going to go out on the channel as yet, but soon, I'm hoping, we'll be on expeditions as well. We'll run that alongside this and alongside the farming. There's always a lot going on over here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I am going to stick with this series until we get stuck to the point that I cannot progress, until I mess up that bad. because I love this game. We do still have our Twitch streams going as well. We do them as and when we can. Completely different style of snow running on Twitch. blocks our metal blocks actually we'll get up mm, yeah we'll get them out we'll get them out I'm here we'll get them out no 
No, we won't. Then we'll go get the bricks. Because then that's going to free up something else later on. We'll get the bricks. So I don't think this matters in what order they uh, get delivered. So with this trailer, or uh, this trailer, with this um, crane, like I say, it does have the, the wide anchor. So you have to make sure you give yourself that little extra space forward or back from the trailer. Back, we'll leave the crane out. Oh, and I want to go back, so we'll just restore the crane. They got stuck. Now we want the brakes off the back of here. So again, we'll get this of the, the anchors. Same. Restore our crank. Now you could be risky and you could just lay the metal on the top of that. But I don't like them sort of risks. That's why I should have brought the brought in. <laughs> why even is that? Why I should have brought the uh, extra bed back with me? Pull that along as we go. We get in position. We can. Uh, Whoa. There we go. <laughs> it will. Get some more fuel as well. Loads of fuel. There is another fuel trailer that is out on the map that needs delivering. Uh, we'll probably bring that back and pop some of that in our fuel tanker. Because it only needs to be delivered with 10%. I'm not overly concerned about whittle, whittling them down as much as we can. Um, you know, there is plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. On some of the other maps, there's there's loads of fuel tankers. We just bring one through if we need to. Or if we get that desperate, we can camp our fuel. You want to use as much free as you can, but I'm not going to overly manage the, the fuel situation. They're a little bit snaky, aren't we? A little bit snaky. What I should do is use high gear more often, but I find that as soon as I hit in high gear, I'll come down anyway, so... By the time you get up to speed, to make it worthwhile, I'm sticking up there in high. We're grinding down anyway, so automatic and low tend to be my uh, my preferred gears. Love me some low plus. There's 
a little bit of weight on here. Stick a little plus, put the diff on, makes life a lot easier. Okay, just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Beautiful game. The vehicle terrain combat game, that's what it is, and it's gorgeous. It's as relaxing as it is stressful at times. It's the perfect mix. You're just like chilling with your trucks, doing your deliveries, and then the next thing you know, you're stressing out as to why you cannot move for love nor money. Or you get too relaxed, too complacent, and you roll your truck and your load is all over the map. All over the map. bricks off our beams. Now while we're here we do have, we did see it didn't we, our supplies and that's consumables and wooden planks. So what we're gonna do is um, that's the other Bring that in here. Then we'll detach our trailer. Put that up. And we'll complete that job on our way back. And then pick up the metal beams to come back here. Be able to reach across. Okay, so on the load and platform, and I always thought that you could um, put more than one out. I thought you should be able to fill this up, but maybe that's a again, maybe that's a normal mode thing because you have to spend money on it. That's just trying to protect you from accidentally. Uh, Purchase some things you don't need. Crane skills. So I'll purchase one more. Because you have the the uh, the large space. What am I doing? You have the large space, obviously. There we go. But you should be able to fit what three, maybe four of these on there.
get that attached. Lovely job. Then we need to get out here. And our easiest route is going to be the one around the back. So now we just need to head off and grab some lumber. I did switch the job, didn't I? I didn't, no. So it was... That one, yeah. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll grab the fuel trailer when we go past. That's the fuel trailer I was saying that we need to get and bring back. So when we get out there, we'll do that. We've got a little wooden bridge I want to fix first before we try and get that. And probably clear the other the other two rock slides. Because then we can yeah, sneak a bit more fuel out of it on its return. trailer. Oh, you absolute pain in the ass. You don't pass it with a GMC. Right. Get off the road. We're not going to be used to that trailer again. <laughs> yeah, there's something about them. I just, I think I just don't like the look. It's the aesthetics. <laughs> Uh, the sideboard. Like I say, the other one is probably sturdier. If, like if you get a little bit of a roll, those side strut supports probably catch your load. But you do have to lift higher and you know, take a little bit more time to load them in. As I think the the sideboard trailer. Is a happy, happy medium between that and a, and a straight flat bed that has no, obviously no sides to help catch your loads. So should you have a little wobble? Just check me using all of our tools. Just seem to be. Uh, a little slow, a little bit struggle. Sometimes just flicking it helps you find gear. Just having a lot of slip.
Oh, I forgot to take the turn and the other words. Right. Bingo right here. It's just a bit more mature. This is rank. Make them work for ourselves, not smart. Send a little bit with some low gear action. Just gonna detach the trailer. We'll grab that when we come out. Let me have two, please. So, but to save a bit of time, having them both there ready to load. Where am I going? Should I be worried about whether I can save time or not? I can get on there. See if that'll pack from there. There we go. Consumables.
a little bit of weight, to say the least. a bit now. them off and then all they want for their next job or for that end of that job is that fuel trailer what we want some metal please and thank you At the minute, I don't think we have anything else that's going to need metal, so I'm not going to. I said I wouldn't preempt anyway, so I'm not preempting them, but metal in that trailer. Actually, we do. We need metal beams. Oh, we'll get them when we need them. We need metal beams for the the other rock slide that's just outside of town. But we'll put them in the back here anyway. Why do I keep doing that? because we want metal beams and some um, like spare parts, whatever it is. We want what's in that trailer. And some metal beams. Right, we'll just leave this one here. And set ourselves back to what we were doing, which was... Um, was it? Wet harvest, that's what we were doing. Should we get some more fuel? Yeah, we should. We should get more fuel. Should 
always get more fuel. It's going down, it soon goes. Especially when you're as inefficient as I am. <laughs> We didn't need to be in all-wheel drive so much, we wouldn't use so much fuel. It's the all-wheel drive that uses up the fuel. It's the engine. We turn off all-wheel drive. Turn off the engine, you don't use any fuel. Turn off all-wheel drive. We still keep the diff going. Just relying on the push from behind. As we want to have a little pull from the front as well. Especially since we've been going up and down this track so many times now. We have churned it to absolute crap. <laughs> Another contract complete. So that's another 3,800. That's 420 XP, which is really handy. Now we're up to 15 grand. Still on level 5, nearly halfway through that. So next up, I'd like to build the small wooden bridge. I'm going to risk going this way. We should be alright, I think. Yeah, if we get a little bit stuck, we'll uh, whop the winch out. It's 
So I think it's dry, it's just steep, we're good. So I used to be trying to cut back through that same dirt track all the time. Oh, I should have pulled the the maintenance trailer. So I keep forgetting. I should have gone got the maintenance trailer. Never mind. It's not until I damage myself I think, oh I need the maintenance trailer. We'll get it. Perhaps we'll have to take a little break from doing the jobbies and go and gather up my horse slot trailer and the maintenance trailer together. We can attach one and winch pull the other. We can do that while I try and think and plan out the next lot of uh, tasks. Well, that one good. Right. Put the all wheel on for the mud. Now a good way for us to get some levels and some or some XP and some, some money would be to do the challenges. Is it out of reach? Let's see. That might be why they tried to... ...auto-load for me instead. That'll be fine. <laughs> My depth perception, no matter what the game, is absolutely atrocious all the time. Let's try and get at least one of these in here properly. Get that in there proper. There you go. There's no rule to say that we can't auto load, it's just when money's tight. You don't really want to. And on hard mode, but it's always tight. That's sort of the thing. There we are. 
Right, so diff on, all ready to go. Let's make sure we've got our task. Um, where is our little wooden bridge? Job. Have we not triggered it? We did, didn't we? Yeah, wood bridge. Well, that's where we're going. It's not under anything else, is it? No. Wait, hang on. Oh, what's the time? Six, six, no, seven. We should have this done in time. I feel sure we came over, we picked up the upgrade and we drove down there. Perhaps I just went into it and didn't actually accept it. That is something that I would do. Was this when I got distracted by the fact that we didn't? Didn't pick, um, hit the outposts when I thought we had. So I quickly turned around and went off. Because I did say we wouldn't load up the jobs, we haven't started, but I felt sure we triggered this. probably going to be one of the rules that I, I slide on the most because I do have multiple playthroughs on the go at the minute. But some of my rememberings are going to overlap. There we go, bridge. And that's another 1,400 and 120 on the XP. Just gonna myself on a dry spot. Right, check the time. Oh, well for once we've uh, actually finished on time, maybe a little bit early, which is a rarity. So we're gonna leave it there. I should turn the engine off. Don't wanna waste the fuel. We'll leave it there. Next time out, we will go and clear. I think we've got two more roadblocks. We might, we might get both of them. I might just do the one. Um, then we'll try and get a few more deliveries done within Black River. And then we'll start to head into uh, the dam again and clear out some of the blockages there and uh, make our way back through so that we can pull the, uh, the P-16 through and start recovering some trucks and doing some of the harder deliveries. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.